Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Get a video today from Cheek Slaying Headquarters. Most insane video on YouTube. Please actually write them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. Ciao. Ciao time. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you doing with that? I'm sorry, not the gas, but... Wait, what? Are these guys foreigners? In the tire. Can you help me instead of taking the video? Do you know what that is? No. no. That's propane. Oh, shit. Oh. Thank you for oh, letting oh, us know. Oh, oh. uh, yeah. Where is the... Where is the gas? Oh, it's air water down there. Sorry, sorry. Thank you for letting us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were trying to blow the thing up. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of man is that? That's a disciple of the soy. Remove his man card immediately. How much? Five to see it, ten to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite physical trait in a woman? It's got to be a good smile, you know, hustly cared, the laughing playing. Fuck, okay, guys, I actually can't do this anymore. I'm tired of doing this nice guy. Act. I like a girl with the fat ass, okay? <laughs> I want to put some badam the tail on it. I want to malish it. I want to make friends with it. And I want to neend on it, okay? I'm tired of this. And pretending like I'm the good guy just to get laid. I'm done. I'm a scumbag. I'm My man, scumbag. finally. <laughs> Waking up. I'm not about to change for anyone. I'm done. <laughs> this man folded like a lawn chair under zero pressure. Bro went from zero to 100 faster than a Tesla. Why do you think you're the baddest? People tell me I am, and I believe it. A lot of liars nowadays. <laughs> you look a bit young to be a rapper. Shouldn't you be sitting here with us? Atrocity <laughs> <laughs> is under that D-rank. Jesus Christ. Construction workers. Like, I would agree that, yeah, men should do these jobs, but when it comes to, like, white-collar jobs, like, I think women are just as capable and intelligent and... True, but oh, they get work and That's really sexist it. of you to say that men should do the dangerous, dirty, difficult <laughs> I think work. men are, on average, bigger but muscle work, mass. Work. Can you name many women who you know in your friend group who are willing to work 80 hours per week on something? I could name several men who are in my circle who do that versus most women who are exhausted. I mean, I know... 80 hour work weeks, baby. It's a normal day of life. He's doing an average 40 hour week. That's why most women are going to OnlyFans because they can't even work a fucking restaurant job. They yep. can't even oh, work I a was... 40 hour per week job. So they go and they do OnlyFans and yet we're here fighting about women's natural work ethic <laughs> and proclivity to be able to achieve the same results I mean, as you, men. You just assume like they're not that willing to put in the work. You're assuming that I only do like only. Brian had that popcorn locked and loaded and ready to go. You see, there are three things that the modern feminists want. The authority of a man, the privileges of a woman, and the accountability of a child. Yep. If you're trying to fall in love with me, hit me the fuck up because I'm fucking tired of playing games, dog. I'm just trying to fall in love, serio. Hit me the fuck up. This torta speaks in cursive. <laughs> serio. <laughs> and no thank you. I wouldn't date her. Because I bet you that cooter is just as torn up as Trump's ear. Ooh. Hope the child is yours. Yes. I pray we, he we've might. been taking care of this child since the day he came out, Jim. I love him. I just want my son to be sure that this is his child. Quinnell Milan, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jones, you are not the father. <laughs> Devastation. I didn't know. Yeah, I'm like, you okay, Mr. Jones? I'm ready to go. I'm sorry. Damn, man. I've been saying this for the longest. Paternity tests should be mandatory at birth. And whoever hates the idea, they should really ask themselves why. You play with them balls like it's FIFA. Haram. Question. Would you date a single mom with three kids? Part time. Part time. Part time. What you mean part time? <laughs> part time. What you mean part time though? Explain part time. Well, you know what full time is, right? Yeah, I do know what full time is. But I can only do part time. <laughs> Night shifts only from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. We're dating, and I cheat. We are dating. Where'd you get that from? 
just now. We just met two minutes ago. And that's why we're together. Take meal to dinner first. I'll be cooking. So what would you make for me then? Whatever you want. Anything? Yeah. It doesn't matter. I'll Google it if I don't know it. You cute. My so girl. again, if we were dating and I cheated on you. If would, you had a reason for cheating though, did you get something out of it or was it just some coochie? It was just coochie. I won't be mad. It's cool. You didn't give her no money, right? You gave her some money? Nope. Okay, I don't care. So you don't care if it was just sex? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, you're not going to think about it no more. It's just sex. Like, men don't think about sex the way women think about sex. So as long as I'm taking care of things at home, then we're good? Yeah, but don't keep cheating on me. She's quite reasonable. This is actually a very reasonable woman. I don't think there's something wrong with what she's saying. She understands, hey, you cheat. As long as you're taking care of me and everything, but I don't don't, don't expect me to be just letting you cheat willy-nilly. I like that. What if I wanted an open relationship? Can I be open too? Not on I your end. I don't want to be open. That's okay. I mean, that's cool. I'm cool with that. I'm not going to lie to you. She's saying all the right things that men want to hear. But trust me, she is crazy yep. because all women are great actresses, yes. but some are smart enough to make a career out of it. When my man says that he wants to see other people, <laughs> what do you want, baby? Huh? You want an Asian woman? <laughs> because whatever you like, I do for you. If you want your nail done, I do for you too. Huh? <laughs> what you want? You, you want to go to Africa? You want to get your African woman, huh? I because love I know you are not going to leave me. Eh? All of this, you are going to go overseas and get something that's not good like this. Eh? <laughs> I don't think you can find anything better than what you have here. Eh? Huh? What, 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 what you want, baby? Huh? You going to fly to London and get you one of them Bridgerton girls? Huh? Because do you not know that I love you? I'll give you all of the world if you only promise to love me for all of my life. <laughs> Damn, they're such great actors. <laughs> Bottom line, you ain't getting rid of me. Black men, Japan needs you. Japan is calling specifically for black men. I know you are saying why, Tasha. They say they need babies, and black men tend to make a lot of them. After South Korea proposed last week, $75,000 per baby that a Lisa, get your passport. Horseshoe International, you got direct flights to Tokyo. We gotta go. <laughs> No wonder why Spirit has an $80 round trip to Japan. I mean, just... Wait, wait. What? I might have to book some flights. Send Nick Canyon over there. He can do it all by himself. <laughs> Which one of y'all are single? Are y'all fighting over me? Me, me, me. I'm single. Which one of y'all want me? Me! Y'all want me? You say... She's married. She's married? You're married? Which one? Y'all probably both. Because, because you have nice hair. <laughs> oh, just like that. Look. Oi, there's some in the tuk tuk. Oi, I'm going with you. Ah! Isn't Asia just the best? They treat us like Brad Pitt. But in the States, they treat us like arm pits. <laughs> This shit went so viral. Bro, you're a weird <laughs> too. Like, it's not funny. Hey, I keep saying it. He looks like a Rocco TV. No, you are watching me do the with the point I I know it isn't, though. This man needs to leave. His girl has more red flags than the damn Chinese Communist Parade. You can tell a lot about a man's self-esteem with the amount of disrespect he's willing to tolerate from his girl. You need to walk away. Women will go out here and let a nigga fuck them raw without putting no ring on it, nothing. But you draw the line at making a sandwich for a man. Yeah. What in the fuck is going on? I take pride in doing my womanly duties. I feel like a man should never have to tell me to do certain shit that I just already should naturally be doing. My like girl. that's an embarrassment. If a man gotta tell me to clean up, you should, I should feel embarrassed, correct? Like yes. if my man is hungry, 
if that's my man, if I'm around here claiming that this is my man, this is who I want to be with or whatever, and my man is hungry, I'm going to get my ass up and I'm going to go cook. But that's because that's what I want to do for my man. And I know that that's what makes it like, I'm pretty sure that he will be happy. Y'all don't like to see y'all. Being told to clean in general is embarrassing. <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> If I may, I know the verse that I quoted earlier about the husband's role in the marriage says the husbands must love their wives, but women respect your husbands. That's not what it says. It says that you need to submit, submit yeah. to your husband. Yes, yeah, it says respect oh. and That's submit. not respect. Submission is different. That's an overage, right? So there's more to it than just respecting. Submission does not just mean respect. That means submission. And that's something which is absent in society. And that's why guys like Brian refuse to take a bullet for women because they refuse to submit to patriarchal authority. And if they did, he would be far more inclined to do so. That's why, by the way, he would do it for his children because they see him as an authority, a patriarchal authority in the household. And so he knows that that's his greater duty. But why would he have a greater duty to women who don't submit? Man, that was well, that's all honesty. Like, why would I protect somebody who doesn't give two flying shits about me until it's time to? Put air oh, in a like the it's That's what happens when a woman tries to do a man job. It's so sexy to me when he does masculine shit. When I see him working on the yard, when I see him fixing the house, when I see him just like talking to a guy in a certain way and his like masculine tone comes out and, mm. and I just see him in real life or like he views someone in the store and he's like, ah, they're moving a little funny, get on this side of me. Like mm -hmm. that shit is sexy. Women want that and it's a primal thing. Yeah. It's, it's a procreation yeah. thing, you know? We want to be, whether women want to admit it or not, we want to be soft. We, we, we want to be around a man that we don't- We know. We tell women this all the time, and women just love to rail against it. They really want to be men, but they're miserable. We <laughs> gotta embrace our masculinity, right? Because that man will go and embrace his masculinity. And equally so, I feel like men also don't want to be masculine all the fucking time. You know, there's times where they want to come home and they want peace yes. and they want love and they want somebody that they could just be like holding it in and fucking being stoic all the time is very, very draining their little self with, yeah. you know? And so as a woman, like a standard for me has been, I want my husband to come home and he could be the hardest motherfucker to the world. And I want him to be, everyone should know my man is a threat. Mm -hmm. But when he comes home to our house where we've created our family, know that you have a woman that loves you and you could be the little Marco that you used to be when you were little, you know, this is your safe space and just recharge him for life. I ain't gonna lie. I've been jumping from relationship to relationship. It's hard to stay loyal when you're too cute because every female wants me and I'd be cheating. Wait, what? You need to jump from dentist to dentist. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. More and more women are waking up, guys. Some of them are very good women and more w good women are coming online to sell bad women. You're being bad. That's all we can hope for. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that and catch you guys next time.